Senior night for Matea Valley Tennis against Nequa Valley, which means that it's time for a pizza party. We get our highlight party started in number two doubles. Matea's Emma Gatz and Setwicka Pachala taking on Hannah Kestenberg and Yurui Soon from Nequa. The Mustang duo picks up a point early, playing near the back line, but forcing the Wildcats into a tough return that finds the net. MV serving in the near court, but Kestenberg with a hard line drive return. The Gats can't quite return cleanly. The Wildcats take two doubles, 6-0-6-2. Sticking with number twos, let's move over to singles. Victoria Yin from Nico Valley facing Fina Niu from Atia. Niu serving in the near court. The rally goes back and forth. That is until Yin forces her opponent to drive back near the line and the return falls short of the net. But Niu would settle down and take control from there. Here she is getting an ace to secure the first set, 7-5. In the second set, Niu continues her strong play with a perfectly placed forehand in the far corner that Yin cannot return. The Mustang takes this one, 7-5-6-2. Key matchup in number one doubles with seniors Taylor Goldman and Isabella Palm playing their final home meet against Sofia Ramos and Emily Payo of Niqua. Goldman is Matias' all-time leader in wins. The Wildcats get off to a great start. Pio and Goldman rally back and forth until Ramos jumps in for a quick return at up the middle for the point. Envy takes the first set 7-6. Early in the second set, Nikwa continues to play well with another great reaction from Ramos, the Wildcats pulling away. Matias Valley battling back in the second set. Palm with the serve and a great backhand that just eludes the racket of Ramos Mustangs battling back to force a third set. Match point for MV. Goldman returns the serve and Palm smashes the pile backhand home for the winning point. And the MV seniors end on a high note. Great matchup in number one singles with Hannah Newman from Nequa Valley facing junior Mira Bade from Mitia. Newman serves in the far court and forces Bade to play on her heels near the back. That sets the Wildcats senior up for a forehand smash and the set one win 6-3. Bade now serving in the far court and she gets the backhand working in set number two, eventually putting a return low as Newman finds the net. We're going to a third set as Bade takes it 6-4. Newman up five games to four in set three as Bade serves. The solid volley goes back and forth with neither player able to gain an edge Eventually, after nearly 20 seconds, Bade's return hits the top of the net. Hannah Newman hangs on to win in three sets as Nequa Valley takes the team victory 5-2. I thought my game was pretty good today. Uh, I came in with a strategy. I've played her multiple times out of season. Um, so I basically took that strategy throughout the whole match. Um, it obviously didn't work for the whole time, but uh, I had to adjust a little bit and I'm hoping to uh, keep working on that strategy and use it against other people. Um, well, I felt like we really, starting the second set, played a lot more aggressive. Like, we just couldn't be afraid of hitting the balls and taking chances. Um, you just gotta play the shots as they come and not get too ahead of yourself. Yeah, made sure we didn't think about the score. We just kept our heads up and kept pushing. Mm -hmm. uh, it's definitely important to bounce back. Um, everyone during the season is definitely helpful for in the future, like conference seating, sectional state. Um, I think that even if you lose the second set, it doesn't matter. You just got to keep bouncing back. I love it when everyone's out there cheering and yeah. watching. It's our a lot of fun. Especially because our friends and family can come watch. And yeah. Making it, since it's our last match here, that's, yeah. that's crazy. I'm glad that it ended well. Yeah.